Hey, what's up guys? Nick Reeves here from Two Nerds Eight Eyes, and I'm doing a review on the Sandman Builder Figure Wave Green Goblin from Marvel Legends. I was so hyped when they revealed this figure, and I think it was um, New York, San Diego Comic Con last year, and I was like, yes, so much yes, and I just couldn't find it in stores, and I found it in the oddest store of all. I found it in Walgreens. The Walgreens and that I went to had literally the entire wave. Unfortunately, I did not have enough money to buy the entire wave, which I really wanted to. I was trying, I was tempted to try to talk my mom into helping me out or something, but no. So I ended up getting this in the black suit Spider-Man, which he, I will be reviewing probably right after this. So, anyways, into his accessories, he does have a glider, and it's a lot different than the actual Hobgoblin glider. Let me get that one real quick. I didn't think of it. Alright. We'll you do that. Use Hobgoblin for size comparisons here in a second. So, as you can see, this is the Hobgoblin one. It's a lot smaller than this one. I like this one a lot better. They're both really good, but I do prefer this one. But I'm glad that they gave them different gliders because in previous versions I'm pretty sure they have given them just the same gliders because oh they're just both glider villains no they actually really hate each other they <laughs> I don't think they hardly ever teamed up to fight spider-man I think they were always fighting with themselves anyways and here is his pumpkin bomb I'm not gonna lose this one I solemnly swear I'm not gonna lose this pumpkin bomb drop oh man where'd it go uh, anyways so I guess for size comparisons, he is on the same body mold as the Hobgoblin. Just fixing his feet so he'll stand up. Yeah, he is on the same body mold as the Hobgoblin, so they do share the same. They're the same height. The head sculpts are so are a lot different, so that's pretty cool. Um, forgot to grab a Spider Man. <laughs> Here he is compared to the um, Pizza Spider-Man from the Hobgoblin Builder figure wave. I wanted to build that figure, but I didn't want to build it enough to where I was like, I'm going to buy all these figures. Because I didn't really think that figure that wave had a lot of good figures in it. It had like, it had like Spider-Man 2099, this Spider-Man, and like Daredevil. And those were the figure, main figures I wanted. The Builder figure was cool, but yeah. But no, the Sandman wave, I wanted pretty much every figure to it. I wanted... The only one I didn't really care for was Comic-Con. I just didn't want that figure because I'm not... I'm not familiar with their character and I'm just... I'm kind of... I didn't really like the reboot. So I didn't like a whole lot of the new stuff. So... Anyways, and as always, got to compare them to the... It's not a face mom, man, man. And... Um... Hopefully... You'll be get we'll be getting something a little bit different to size compare them to um, soon because um, they're supposed to be releasing Spider Punk and that's me and Tony made a joke when I showed him what Spider Punk looked like that um, Spider Punk should be telling his mom it's not a face so he'll probably become the it's not a face mom Spider Man so hopefully that'll happen and hopefully when he, that figure comes out we'll be able to do that so. Anyways, let's get into his um, articulation. So, oh, actually, I want to talk about head sculpt real quick. The head sculpt on this figure is freaking amazing. I freaking love it. It's so scary looking. Um, yeah, so that's just it. And, like, the paint and, like, the sculpting is really good. Like, this is a flexible material, but still. And it's a different, I like how it's a different shade of green than the chainmail armor is because that makes sense, I guess. Well, I, well, I thought it makes sense. Um, anyways, let's get into articulation. So his, whoops, so here, we'll just put him down here. His head will move up that far, that far up, that far down. He does, he, he can spin, rotate his head all the way around. He's got some pivot. His arms will move out just about that far. The chainmail does kind of hinder it, so. I guess kind of suck. Um, he does have. They will go all the way around. He's got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, 
his wrist um, swivel and he does have a they do flick up and down so he does have his um, abs crunches crunch down that far that far back um, he does have a waist swivel his legs will move out that far not too far but he can um, kick out that far upper thigh cut double jointed knees boot rotation ankles move down up and he does have an ankle pivot if I can get it to work ankle pivot all right so that about does it for my review hope you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe and peace out